Okay, so I've been seeing videos of a couple different YouTubers taking current pictures, uh, you know, from video on Phil Heath's channel of him and pretty much saying like his physique is awful, he's done and blah, blah, blah. Well, I think we're, we know that he's, you know, he kind of tinkered with the idea of coming back, but he's retired. So the problem is today, everybody only shows their good sides on social media, especially in bodybuilding. The way Phil Heath looks here in the picture on the cover, um, that's how most all of us, even the best in the world, Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, would look in their off season. So one guy made a video talking about, I don't know the guy's name, I forgot his name, he has an accent, a uh, you know, really strong accent, saying, you know, Phil Heath's shoulders are gone, you know, uh, you know the stomach's getting big, like, like he's older, and father time, and all this other stuff. I'm like, you guys have no clue. Phil Heath looks like a normal person that's all season and is still a pro bodybuilder because back in the day, all these great bodybuilders, we, they didn't really do any media stuff other than when they were at their competitions. So you don't see what they look like in the off season. That's the problem. Everybody thinks people are supposed to be veiny and ripped and shredded and abs and for year round. No, especially if you want to stay healthy. Phil Heath was one of the smart ones. He took off of cycling. He might have stayed on a little bit of testosterone, but he took off cycling. Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, all the top guys, Kevin Lebroni, uh, Chris Cormier, they all took off of taking gear. They did not stay on year round like these guys are doing today. From YouTube guys that don't compete to the pro level guys, a lot of these guys, they do not come off gear, which is absolutely crazy. Staying on a TRT dose or a little bit of higher testosterone with a little GH or whatever, that's perfectly fine. But to say Phil Heath, like, critique his body, like, he's enjoying life. He's retired. I believe he's, like, 43, 44 years old. What do you expect him to look like? He, after he retired, he, he looked crazy for a while. That requires, you know, living the bodybuilder lifestyle because I think he was going to come back. And it is like, it, it's like people ask me lately. I just had a photo shoot um, and video shoot this past week. Photo shoot one day, video shoot two days later. People are like, oh my gosh, dude, you're conditioning and you look like better conditioning than the pros today. And they're, they're competing on stage. You should come back and compete, come back and compete. The thing is, I competed at a time in bodybuilding where we got a lot of respect and you had to compete to have a following. Now you don't have to compete. You know, you have all these guys like Sam Sulik and all these other people that, that have this huge following and they haven't won any shows, they haven't done anything like, oh my gosh, you, you did this, you're amazing. They just post content. Some people hit like Sam, like the lottery. And you know, you see in the gym, like the gyms I go to here, everybody's got the tripod thinking they're gonna be the next big star. One of them might, that's how the internet works. Like, like the Hawk Tui girl, like she went viral for one of the silliest, not funniest things ever. And it's crazy how fame and, and how viral videos work these days, it's nuts. Phil Heath looks good here, okay? He's literally like waking up in the morning, showing his morning routine. Obviously, he's comfortable with his body. He's showing it on video. And I think this is good for a lot of people that needs to understand the best bodybuilders in the world did not look like what you think year round. They, some of them would come off in their off season and hardly look like they train. Why? because they took a break from the gym, they took a break from gear, they kind of ate what they wanted, or they were trying to put on weight and size. You can't look like these people online. First of all, a lot of these younger people, all their fit, all their pictures are, you know, so shopped. That's why they never compete, because on stage, you can't Photoshop. And there's nothing wrong with photo shoots, they're supposed to like touch up stuff, that's perfectly fine. But they're doing pictures on certain apps, like it looks nothing like their physique, right? They're making their arms bigger, their waist smaller. I mean, it, like I think a la Alex Eubanks, that guy, that kid, he got in, like kind of called out for that because his pictures, some of his pictures, 
he looks like a shredded up fitness model, but it was just, just lighting and, you know, editing and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of these guys, you, you, you guys look on, um, you know, look up to, their physiques are very subpar. Phil Heath, that physique that he has, if he jumped on a full cycle, started eating six, seven full meals a day, started training hard again, um, he wouldn't look that far off from his last Olympia. I know his last Olympia, his hernia bothered him a lot. People do not understand. I've had four hernia surgeries and my waist is tiny. When I diet down, it's freaking tiny, tiny, tiny. Like it is now, but people will be like, you know, uh, you have a GH gut, you have a roid gut, you have this. Just because when you eat food and you're extremely lean, when you get a little food in your belly, it's going to stick out a little bit. And people are like, oh, GH, no, that's like food in your stomach. You have, you're not completely empty where it's all sucked in. People are crazy these days. And when people look good online, you get, you're going to get a lot more critical people talking smack and hating on you. Why? Because you look good. Why? Because they want to look like that, but they never can. Why? Because they are jealous and envious. So if you're doing your thing out there and you're getting all that hate and jealousy, it's because you're doing something right. Okay. Phil Heath props to him for looking this good in retirement. He looks great. Like I said, if he jumped on and started training hard and eating, you know, eating like six full, seven full meals a day again, he would look like he did the last time he competed or probably even better since he got his hernia, I believe fixed again. Um, you know, could he come back and clean up and masters and win the Olympia? Yeah, but it's hard going from a certain level like this down to like a level like this. Like a lot of my friends that want me to just do a show, you know, like now, like I'm in con, I'm literally got in contest shape just like accidentally. I'm like, wow, well, I'm, I'm in like literally a week away from contest shape. All I would have to do was drop my water. When I did my photo shoot and my video shoot a couple days ago, I actually have to start putting some fat back onto my body because my joints hurt and I'm too lean. I don't need to be this lean. I'm way too lean. I got it for the photo shoot and video shoot. We got some great footage, but it's not comfortable having like nothing on your body. It's very uncomfortable. Your joints hurt. You can't train heavy. You're more prone to injury. But for the people out there that's giving Phil Heath stuff or whatever you want to call it, he looks amazing, even in these pictures. He looks good. This is how they all looked in the off season. The problem is people don't post all those pictures. People only post their good pictures. I didn't. I post pictures even when I was like 285 and bloated, you know, as I'm like really bloated. I still posted informational videos in the gym and I would get smack talk to me and haters you're so bloated. Why is your face so big? Blah, 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 blah. Like I lost, I went from 285 bloated to where I am now, like literally in, in less than two months. Like I weigh 250 right now, shredded to the bone. I'm posting all, you know, a cover photo from the other day or my photos on IG, all those new pictures. I posted one, I'll be posting others. That's literally like from a week ago. I'm probably going to put on at least 15 pounds of so water and a little bit of fat so my joints can feel better. So whoever's giving Phil Heath smack, y'all are crazy. He looks freaking amazing. Especially, I know he's not even, he's only training a few days a week and eating a few times a day. That's what I was doing too. The only difference now is I'm eating clean stuff. And I really want to try to increase my, you know, food intake during the day. And I do want to increase my, you know, going to the gym three days a week to four days a week. Four days a week is all I need. Most of the time when I was competing, I trained five days a week. People think you go every day. And luckily, I don't have to do cardio. If I do, it's only like 20 minutes um, a few times a week uh, just to help with my appetite and just to feel a little better. I don't have to do cardio to get you know contest ready either. All right, guys, so that's how things work. The internet, remember, is the internet. It's very different from real life. Everybody posts their best. They're best, they're best, they're best. Remember that, guys. Peace out.